Mystic Papaver here. Today we are going to be modifying one of these lovely little um, Elite Forces uh, patrol boats. So, I'm sure many of you have seen these before. They sold them at Target uh, a couple years ago. Should be a lot of fun. I've always felt that this boat didn't have enough defensive areas to protect people. So I'm going to add a few things to it and color it. So I have masked off all of the areas that I don't want painted. And I have uh, kind of removed everything that I don't want in the boat. If you can see that. So we're going to color this thing intermediate blue, which is a lovely color. Hopefully I've got enough in here. Can't stop it. Oh, that looks good. Lovely color. Little, uh, part of a G.I. Joe boat, I think it is. Hopefully I've got enough. If not, I have to drive out about 10 miles from here and get more. Looking pretty good so far. Okay, I ran out of paint, the intermediate blue. So what I decided to do was I would just mask off parts of the intermediate blue and paint them gray. And that'll make a really nice blue and camo design. I'll finish this up and I'll show you All right. what we have. So now we've taped uh, masking tape over the uh, intermediate blue. So this creates a really neat effect. And if I could do this one handed, I'll show you. <laughs> All right, so basically you get the idea. The intermediate blue is underneath the gray, creating a kind of camouflage, camouflage stripe effect. Right, and there, oh, looks like the paint underneath is coming out because I'm pulling off the intermediate blue, so I'm gonna have to take care of that real quick. Okay, so it actually turned out quite well on this side. You get the idea of the two different colors. Yeah, and then I covered that up. Something I can really do about the fine detailing of the paint behind there. It looks kind of ugly. I'll try to figure something out, but I'm not really sure what. Otherwise, I'll just have to cover up that cool sticker. Okay, so here's where we are. Now you'll notice that we have this large hole in the bottom of the boat, and that we also have to put this chair on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this piece of Lego, which I painted, and chop it to fit here, which shouldn't be too hard. Just have to chop about an inch off of it. Sorry. Uh, and then use it to cover up that hole. But beforehand, I'm going to screw the uh, seat on to this piece. Okay, so I have gotten the chair attached. That little post is a Lego underneath there. It's all lined up with the front console. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put this in front. This is from a Bruder tractor. So, basically, I have the little frame for it too. I'm just going to kind of try to figure out like what to put here and just kind of work it out as it goes and make it look really good. Okay, so here's where I'm at. I have attached, oh that's a little bit tilted right there, um, the top. Got a sticker on that tear of the uh, paint. It's not perfect, but it'll do. I've got the back attached. Um, I've got the uh, engine painted. It's kind of hard to see. Let me bring it out here. Blue. I've got the uh, loudspeaker attached. And then I've got the 50 cal mounted. 
So okay, we'll so here's where we're at. We've made a lot of progress. This is a little front to the boat. Got a new antenna right there. The rope. Got the little smoke poppers. Got some engines on the back. A ladder right there. We're moving right along. Alright, it's done. I think it looks really good. So I wanted to show you what I did. I added a couple more things to this afterwards. Uh, added on these windows here. Added on that little blinky light. And added on the little uh, railing so that if people are walking on the top of the boat, they won't fall off. And I got some people in it hanging out, going on a mission of some sort. And then that's the guy's uh, co-pilot of the boat. First mate, I guess. Anyway, uh, oh, please subscribe if you would. Thank you.